Yo, what is going on guys? Um, in this video today, I thought I'd go ahead and make it for, um, it's just simple and quick. Um, I've begun lining requests for people, how to set up um, NetSeal, um, you know, a login system. Uh, and then b before I actually show you how to set it up, I also want to tell you that um, uh, when people crack programs, because a lot of you people are using it out there and try to encrypt it um, using obfuscators and stuff like that, people think you're cracking a login. Oh my god, it hurts my brain when I think about this, but no, it's not that. They're not cracking a login. When someone cracks your tool and you're using NetSeal, all they do is decompile the tool, um, find the code where you put the NetSeal, uh, and just remove it. Done. It's simple. <laughs> That's all it is. So they're not, they're not fucking with NetSeal at all. They're not doing anything with it. They're just removing the NetSeal from your application. And then they say they cracked it, which obviously they did because you put <laughs> an login system on it and they removed it. So that's all that is. And anyway, let's get further into this video. I'm going to show you step by step how to install NetSeal on any application. Um, today we're just basically using language uh, C Sharp. Um, maybe I do a video on VB and stuff. I'm just not sure yet. So, of course, open up Visual Studios, no matter what you have, um, and then you get a, a C Sharp and you know Windows applications for those that don't know. I just went ahead and made a new application for this because, you know, why the hell not? And I have Hellmaker open over there because I'm coding Hellmaker. Um, and then you hit OK. I just called it NetSeal because I can. Uh, I think it's a good name. <sighs> Sorry about this, guys. I kind of just woke up. And yeah, if I sound a little funny, that's why too. So. So let this create a project, even though it shouldn't take nothing but a fucking millisecond, and it's still doing it. I swear to God. Oh, if there's any, I want to say this too. If there's any users that own a HM Hellmaker, uh, it'll be out today. I just have to fix. All right, actually, I have to fix the link, and then I have to upload it. So I'm not going to rename this panel. Are this form I'm just going to show you and you guys can do the rest I'm just showing you how to set it up so once you guys have it set up and you have your form made and everything um, you can minimize this or whatever and you want to need to download uh, NetSeal and I'll have this um, panel licensing panel in the description for you guys as well um, of course you need to create an account and stuff so pretty much all you do is when you create a program, it's going to give you a name and it's going to give you a program ID. Okay? You want to take this ID and you want to hit it in this as well. So you want to go to your code by double clicking on the fucking application. Oh my god, I'm about to slap my dick across my screen. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Still suck. You are a beaner not responding. Well, oh, that's queer. Alright, anyways, but that's all you gotta do. Just copy that and then I'll show you what you gotta do as soon as this is done responding and it really stops being a whore. I don't know why it shows 55. It's cancer. the site because I just started using it still not too long ago guys too so a lot of my users are on my website because HM has its own login system as well where's it at uh, I love how long it's taking just to open up a fucking source file it's retarded it really is I'm gonna show you the HM's login system. Uh, have it right here because I was working on it too. 
um, login and register. So it uses both Netsu and this. And if you guys want a further tutorial how to use this as well, I'll show you how to use that. It's not a problem. Well, I'll show it to you as soon as it opens the file at least. So this is a Jim's uh, login system. Um, but that's basically all it is. That's how the site runs as well. So it uses this off the site, um, and it's pretty dope. It's all, it's all good to go. All right. Let's see if. Okay. Oh my God! It actually worked. Whoop do. All right. So all you guys gotta do in here, um, you don't have to. You put any using anything. So remember what I told you on your account ID. Um, your account ID here. All you wanna do is you wanna hit. Um, you wanna click right here, or not right here, you wanna click here, you wanna press enter, and you wanna just paste this code I have in the description as well, because some of you are retarded and don't know what to do. And of course you're gonna get an error, I'll tell you how to fix that right now. So you gotta do is project, and you wanna port an existing item, and then you wanna go to uh, your desktop, and then your licensing panel, wherever it's located on your computer, doesn't matter. Um, and then you want to hit in license.cs uh, <coughs> and just add that and that's going to remove that error um, pretty much damn there immediately as soon as it's done responding ready and give it a second yep there you go um, and that's it and then just debug the application like I said I'm not going to put anything on here because it's quite pointless um, and then just debug the program and it's going to say oh what we do we're amazing you know so that's all it is Well, it is say what we do are amazing whenever it decides to say, hey, I know what the fuck I'm doing now. Starting build. I should play some gay ass fucking music right now. <laughs> that would be funny shit. Um, and if you guys need help, my Skype will be in the description as always. Um, and remember, guys, if I don't respond or if I don't help you immediately, I'm fucking busy. Stop getting booty hurt over me not responding right when I said it, or right when you send a friend request and it's like five hours later. Maybe I was asleep, or not even home. Like, chill the fuck out. Niggas get so booty hurt when I don't respond to him immediately. And when I add you, I have my bot online from time to time, and my bot automatically adds people. That doesn't mean I'm online. That's just the way I have it set up. Because I really don't care who adds me. It really doesn't bother me who does and who doesn't. As long as it's not fucking porn bots that are constantly fucking <laughs> messaging me, hey baby, I'm 24 years old. I'm from Chicago. Would you like to fuck? <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I don't want any little Chicago skink ass pussy. Fuck out of here. Ain't no one wanting some of that shit. Microsoft is collecting Visual Studios. Or it says Microsoft Visual Studio is collecting data, but you know, that's what I said. But it should say Porn, Porn, I Don't Give a Fuck, is what they should title that. Be fucking OG. Would you guys want me to make a porn application? That'd be dope as fuck. Alright, so, so, anyways, that's how it is. That's basically how you install a NetSeal. Now, I'm already logged in my NetSeal account, so it's kind of logging me in straight after that. It's, that's NetSeal's new update. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. That's that's how you install NetSeal. Um, super, super easy. Now, remember, when you get this panel, you get um, one, one free uh, program to use this uh, on. You can't use it on multiple. You have to buy another ID. Um, and then that's pretty much it on that. And then you get, I believe it's 15 free keys, meaning 15 people you can get a key. Um, here, I'll show you what I mean by key so you guys can understand a little more. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so these are keys. So when you go to create an account, um, are here, um, and then just create gen key, it'll generate a key, and that's what I mean by that. Now, if you guys need help setting the remote API system up and the uh, auto update feature, hit me up in the uh, 
in the description or Skype as well, and I'll be up there. And that's pretty much it, guys, for this tutorial. Um, that's how you set up and use a NetSeal login system. Um, also, if you need to encrypt your application, I sell services for that as well. Contact me in Skype for that. And this has been pretty much been Del Mons here, guys. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, smack a like on it. If you want any further suggestions or uh, future videos, comment down below. And uh, yeah, peace out, guys. See you on the next one. Thank you.